Time now for Consumer Confidential with KTLA 5's David Lazarus. Yep, of course he's joining us here in the studio. And David, a lot of people are heading back into work and with gas prices, daycare, you mentioned even like lunch prices. It's got a big fancy word too. <laughs> it does indeed. And while this might seem trivial compared to some of the other stories out there today, it's a thing for millions of people. It's being called lunchflation. And what this addresses is the return to work of millions of Americans and they're discovering their paychecks don't go as far as they used to because, and you know all the answers here, higher gas prices, higher commute costs, higher daycare prices, higher coffee prices, higher food prices, hence lunchflation. Economists say that uh, basically higher prices are cutting into workers' income, and this highlights that pay increases since the start of the pandemic have not kept up with inflation. In fact, food prices were up 9.4 percent last month, according to the Labor Department. That is the biggest jump since 1981. What do you do about something like this? Well, it might be up to employers to encourage people to brown bag a little bit, maybe offer a little help in that department, and a little help at the gas pump from your employer as well probably wouldn't hurt. That explains the excitement you had over that Carl's Jr.'s hamburger you got off the morning show. I'm paid in hamburgers, so okay. I mean, it's a big deal for me. All right, speaking of fast food hamburgers, uh, rumblings about Wendy's fast food chain being up for sale. Yeah, and this isn't just a rumor. This might be the real deal because in a regulatory filing, Wendy's management says that they are seeking either a buyout of the company or some other investment into the firm. Uh, and that's going to be a heavy stretch, to be honest, because Wendy's has been struggling to compete with the likes of McDonald's and Burger King. And according to this filing, it's not going to be easy to, to get around that. Wendy's has been losing ground. They, they made some gains in the breakfast department, but then again, all the fast food chains went heavy into breakfast during the pandemic. And now, obviously, they have to come out strong against McDee's and the other big competitors out there. And that makes this a very difficult sell for a potential buyer. I mean, even Arby's at this point now has a burger on its menu. So that also makes it difficult for Wendy's. Nevertheless, investors are happy with the, the news at last check, Wendy's stock up by nearly 10%. Was it this week you were talking about Jif peanut butter or, or last week? Last week there last was a week. recall. Okay, so there was the recall of the salmonella, and now you're saying it's affecting other products, likely peanut butter stuffed pretzels, which I eat every week. Mm. Good call, and you want to be careful with that. In fact, I got a whole bunch of those at home, too. <laughs> now I'm rethinking, where's that peanut butter coming from? <laughs> last week, J.M. Smucker recalled various GIF brands because of a possibility of salmonella contamination. Okay, that's the start of it. It turns out, though, that GIF is a, an ingredient or an extra product in a variety of snack foods. We're talking about candy. We're talking about caramel corn. We're talking about uh, uh, a whole variety variety of different things that are are used uh, for GIF and then uh, you might also see in the grocery section packaged foods of like apple slices or celery sticks that come with a little container of GIF with them and now those are being pulled from shelves as well not necessarily because they're contaminated but obviously out of an abundance of caution that this could be a problem and it is a problem. So if you've got little ones at home, it's not enough just to pull that GIF creamy or chunky uh, away from them. Make sure you look around and see what other snack foods might have GIF as an ingredient. It'll probably say it on the package and at least for the time being, be careful until we get the all clear signal. Mm. Okay. David, thank you.